Hello, my name is Emma Sanger Johnson. I'm a midwife at Jamaica Hospital Medical Center, and I'm here today with our next installment of Healthy Mother, Healthy Baby Initiative. I'm going to be talking today about the Tdap vaccine. Tdap stands for tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis. Pertussis is also sometimes called whooping cough. Whooping cough is a serious illness that can cause difficulty breathing and coughing. It's transmitted through coughs or sneezes from an infected person. We're concerned about newborns being infected with whooping cough, which is why we recommend receiving the vaccine in pregnancy. When pregnant people receive the vaccine between 27 and 36 weeks, their babies have some protection. The mother's bodies create antibodies that are then passed on to the babies. The babies are then protected until they receive their own vaccine at two months old. Pertussis is a very serious illness. It's, it can affect all people. However, it's more dangerous for babies because of their developing immune systems. It's okay if you don't receive the vaccine during your pregnancy. If you do not, we recommend that you receive the vaccine postpartum if you have not had the Tdap vaccine in the last 10 years. This will not provide the same kind of protection to your baby. However, you will be less likely to pass on pertussis to your baby. For this reason, we also recommend that any parents, caregivers, or other friends that are going to be around your child also make sure that their Tdap vaccines are up to date so that they can also help protect your baby. Some people are worried about receiving vaccines in pregnancy. For this reason, I encourage you to talk with your doctor or midwife about any worries that you may have. Do you know that the Tdap vaccine is safe in pregnancy? It's been approved by the Food and Drug Administration for vaccination in pregnancy. And the FDA constantly reevaluates the efficacy and safety of these vaccines. Sometimes people have some side effects after receiving the vaccine, like headache, soreness, or achiness. You can talk with your provider about medications that you might be able to take to help with these symptoms. If you have any concerns or need help making an appointment, you can call the phone number listed below.